Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is John Ray. For today's video, I will teach you how to use Autocrat in Google Sheets. Let's get started. Google Sheets is a web-based application that allows users to create, update, and modify spreadsheets and share it online. Ang Google Sheets ay pwede lamang gamitin online. Hindi tulad ng Microsoft Excel na pwede gamitin kahit walang internet connection. Pero, mas madaling mag-collaborate and share ng files using Google Sheets. Ang Autocrat naman ay isang add-on sa Google Sheets para makapag-merge tayo ng form document and data file. This feature is similar to our previous video about mail merge, which can be done using Microsoft Word. If you haven't watched our video about mail merge, I will leave a link here. Ang form document na gagamitin natin for this demo is certificate. As you can see, yung data na ilalagay natin sa ating form document ay naka-close sa dalawang less than and greater than symbol para ma-identify ng autocrat. This form document should be saved as Google Docs. Ang data file naman, this should be in Google Sheets and should contain all the data that we want to insert in our form document. This first row of the sheet will serve as the label of the data. I will now show you how to use Autocrat in merging data using Google Sheets. First, open your data file. Once you open it, click the Add-ons tab and select Get Add-ons. And it will bring you to the G Suite Marketplace. On my case, nakapicture ang Autocrat. But you can also search Autocrat on the search bar. Just click the Autocrat. Then install it. Then click Continue. It will pop a new window and select your Google account. Allow Autocrat to access your account. Once you're done, exit the G Suite Marketplace and go again to the Add-ons tab. You will see that the Autocrat is already installed. Select Autocrat and click Open. Then wait for the Autocrat to load. Then click New Job. First step is to name your job. For this demo, we will name as Sample Autocrat. Then click Next. Next step is to choose a template. Since we already have our form document saved in our drive, just click from Drive and look for it. This is our form document. Just select it, then click Select. Then click Next. We are now selecting the source of our data. Click the Merge tab. Then select Sheet 1. As you can see, it automatically matched our data to our form document label. Pero, pwede nyo ding iselect manually yung data na gustong inyong emerge sa mga form document label natin. 
If you're done matching your data, then click Next. Now you need to create a file name of your merge files. You can also add tags just like their full name para nakapangalan na sa recipient yung file nila. Don't forget to add the less than and greater than symbol para mabasa ng ating AutoCAD yung tag na gusto natin. You can select a type of file if you want it to be a docs or a PDF. Since this is a certificate, I will save my files as PDF. Wala na kayong ibang gagalawin sa settings, and you may now click Next. Fifth step is to select the destination of your files. Kanina, gumawa na ako ng separate folder para sa Autocrat Merge Files. We will just look into it and select it as our destination. Then click Next. Steps 6 and 7 are optional, so skip na natin yun. You can also share and send the files via email. But for this demo, hindi natin gagawin yun. Just leave it no, then click Next. Job triggers are automated generation of files. Maganda gamitin ito if your Google Sheets is constantly updating files or adding more recipients. But for this demo, we will not use it. Just leave it and click Save. Our created job is now ready. We can now start merging the files by clicking the Run Job button. Wait for the job to accomplish merging. You can exit this window and you will see on your sheets na may status report about the merging of the files. As you can see, all the documents were successfully merged. You can click the individual link to access the merged docs. But you can also go to the folder that we have selected before as a destination of our merged files. Once you open the folder, may kita nyo na ang mga merged docs ay nakapangalan sa mga recipients ng certificates. You can check the file if the data merged are correct. May kita nyo na ang lahat ng data ay tamang na ilagay sa ating form document. And that is how you use Autocrat in Google Sheets. Pwede itong gamitin sa iba't ibang documents like certificates, report card, request letter, etc. I hope this video helped you. Please do like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you will be notified if we have a new video. Thank you and see you in my next video.